Less than 30 seconds. Welcome everyone to another movie reaction. My name is Jeroen and I'm once again joined by my beautiful girlfriend Lirit. Hi! <laughs> Today we are reacting to 1964's Goldfinger, the classic of all classics. And obviously, we already saw it. We already <laughs> saw it, yeah. Um, during our initial series, we started uh, spontaneously. Yeah. Uh, that was your first Bond film we ever watched. Yes. <laughs> we recorded it during Christmas time 2020. Mm -hmm. It's now very late in August 2021 as of recording this video, almost September. Uh, so it's been almost nine months yes. since uh, we've and I'm seen dressed it. for it. Yes, we're both in gold-like clothing, <laughs> dressed for the occasion. Um, so, are you excited to re-watch Goldfinger? Yes, even though I watched it already, um, this is the second time, so I'm very excited to also watch it again. And now in order, so... Yeah, now you saw the first two, so now you maybe can compare it a little yes. bit more. Um, <laughs> On your initial viewing, you obviously dozed off a few times, so <laughs> now you can properly watch it. Mm -hmm. uh, do I you had have a good night rest, so yeah, uh... <laughs> shouldn't be a problem this time. Um, do you remember a lot from your first watching of Goldfinger? Honestly, yeah, <laughs> some things I forgot. Well, that's nice because then I... at least there will be uh, mm -hmm. more only... first time reacting like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I only know like in the mountains and uh, there was a belly dancer, was there a belly dancer? I don't know, or I mixed Oh, in the beginning, the... no, in the beginning there is, yes, mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, the laser, I remember. Of course. And Fort Knox was in this one. Yes, right? yes, yeah. there's still a lot of memories left. Uh, I think as we dive back into this, a lot of it will come back. If you are interested in watching the full-length reaction, <laughs> you can watch that on my Patreon page, uh, so you can see the whole thing. I'm very happy to see some of my supporters have already sent me pictures of watching the full-length reaction synchronized <laughs> with the movie. Very happy to, to hear people are also doing that. Um, and without further ado, we're going to be Rewatching Goldfinger, yes. here it's second time. <laughs> now it's starting with the normal. Yeah, just like from Russia with Love. Pretty much the exact same one as from Russia with Love. With a slight but now difference. it's the... Is it the same guy? The it's still stuff? the stunt man, only in the first three. Hmm. From the next one it's actually Connery. Hmm. They refilmed it. Remember, you had that like a hat, right? Yeah. yeah. That's good. The bomb. Yeah. And his hair is immediately perfect again, and even yeah. though he just came even out of the water yeah. from the, with the duck. And that suit is dry. Yeah. And beautiful. <laughs> Gotta love it. And he has like a flower. Yeah. Like a rose. <laughs> out of nowhere. The belly dancer. Yeah. Job remembering. You might recognize her too. Is she not from the gypsy camp? She wasn't from the gypsy camp, but she was in From Russia with Love. Then the Turkish guy. Yeah, she was the girlfriend of uh, Karen Bay. And now she is like a belly dancer? Yeah, in a different role. This is so weird to oh. watch because she kissed. The Turkish guy yeah, in the second different movie, role. and now, now she's kissing him. Yeah. This is so weird. It's just a different role. This is so weird. But she's the same girl. No. She, she's playing someone else. That's so weird. They do that a lot in the older movies, recasting really? actors, yeah. <gasps> oh, yeah. 
What? But you have to look closely. You looked in my eye? Yeah. <laughs> you can do that? <laughs> if I can see, like, the window. You have to pay a lot of attention. And during yeah. kissing as well. Yes. Normally you close your eyes during kissing. Oh, now he's dead, right? Now he's Shocking. Shocking. <laughs> what, is she, what is she doing? <laughs> oh, that was the bad guy, right? Oh, now in this movie, they will let you see like previews, few, previews yeah. from Goldfinger. Goldfinger. And now it's dun, the dun, dun. theme song in the beginning. Yeah. First time uh, with this one. Yeah. A spider's touch. Don't do that. <laughs> I think I like this more than the other films that you can't see the uh, futures of the film. Yeah, here they actually show scenes as well yeah. that are coming up. They don't. They don't do that a lot in the other movies, but. And this obviously too. this is you know this shows the theme a lot with the golden girl and all the stuff coming up Who's and the uh, you know from the db5 of course oh yeah yeah and now the db5 is in this yeah. is the first yeah, one it's right introduced. Okay, it's yeah. a car from 64 as well it was brand new at the time it might be from 63 because it might have been filmed a year before it came out but it's you know a car from that era mm. This singer, she's called Shirley Bassey, you'll notice she does a lot more Bond songs mm. in upcoming films. You may recognize her voice, she does uh, at least two more. Mm. And she did, she did do even more than that, another two, but she didn't get the title song, but mm. those were okay. recorded. Do you remember where it's about to start? After the titles? Where are we going to go first? That's good. It was in Switzerland, right? Yeah, that comes later. Oh. I'm happy you don't remember everything exactly. That makes it more fun, at least. It was with the pool, I think. Yeah. Yeah, but not in Switzerland. You'll see in a second. Was it Miami or why? Miami, yes. <laughs> yep. <laughs> wow, you I had to remember. think. You hit remember. <laughs> Friends of mine actually went to this uh, hotel really? in uh, Miami, yeah. It's still there? Yeah, yeah, of course. It's the, I believe it's the the Fountain Blue or the Blue Fountain. Oh, we have to go there then. Oh, one day, yeah, I would love to. Yeah. It's a very high-end hotel. Do you remember who he is? He did appear in Dr. No, but not from a di different actor. Mm. Felix, Felix, how are you? It's Felix. Think me, Felix Light. CIA agent from the first one. Oh yes. Felix, uh, man talk. Oh, <laughs> uh, I remember this. You yeah. asked me. You asked me about that. Yeah. yeah. What you thought about that? Yeah. And what do you think about this for the viewers? <laughs> <laughs> Wearing a jumper, or a romper, or how do you call it? <laughs> oh, those women in the backgrounds are looking perfect. You see that? Yeah. Like the hair. And do you notice this is actually filmed in a studio? No. Let's double it. Oh yeah, that that's Back fake. But this, this is the studio. It's not inconspicuous at all. No, <laughs> that he has like a ear. See, it's even bigger than ours. But yes. Of course, you know, he said he says that's explained in a book that's because he's deaf, you know, a hearing uh, machine. Miss. I said something about her shoes the last time. Th that's Mr. Goldfinger's sweet. Yes, I know. That's Mr. Goldfinger's his sweet. Not that she calls. No, she just yourself. okay. <laughs> James Bond. Who are you? He pays me. 
that Ollie paid you for? <laughs> and for being seen. I don't want to like sit next to him and people can see me with him. Or well, what if he pays you really a lot just to be just seen? Just to be seen. It's not for anything else. Nope. You're not, uh, you, they can't bribe you. <laughs> thousand dollars. Now let's be generous. Let's make it fifty. She did that on purpose, did you say? Mm hmm Oh yeah, no. It's Connery that's hanging over you. <laughs> that's weird. Oh because of the microphone you can good hear. No. You're right, you shouldn't be able to hear that. There is no microphone to hear him. Hear him? The, crack only the he can hear her. Pencil. We shouldn't be able to hear the crack. No, that's true. So. Dinner. Where? Well, I know the it's best. Easy. But it is Sean Connery, of course. The, the man is charming as hell. Oh, Felix. Well, no. Oh, that's the well, CIA well, guy, right? Yeah. He appears in a lot of the movies. Okay. But the the stupid thing is, he's always played by a different actor. Oh really? Only in the recent movies they kept the same one, but in the old ones it's always another one. But this one is the same, right? No, 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 no. In the first one it was the guy with the sunglasses, he had the cool hair, mm, he almost looked yeah. like Connery, and now it's an older man with grey hair. Oh wait, she... she dies, right? Not in the fridge. You remember what? how? Yeah. Who needs it? Oh wait, who was this? What's this? You'll see in the shadow. Uh, oh, what's his name? Oh, what's his name? I know, I know. It was like a Chinese man. Korean. Korean. Mm. It will come back to you. I won't spoil it. Very iconic villain. One of the most memorable Yes, he series. throws his head and right. then... And he's very strong. Oh, what's his name? Such still a breathtaking moment to this very day, I think. So iconic. Would you do that for a movie role? Be painted all in gold? It's pretty cool, man. That they took her somewhere to dip in gold and then returned to the hotel room. Who knows how they did it? But the explanation is weird. You couldn't die from you skin see? suffocation. That's what they say in the movie, of course, but still, it's, I still find it so iconic. Oh, he's back in London. Oh, job! Yes, you remember Oh my god! <laughs> it's alright, as so long as you leave a small piece, that's coldly and objectively. The 008 can replace it. You were supposed to observe Mr. Goldfinger, not bother his girlfriend. <laughs> but this is an also an other M. No, it's the same guy. It's the same guy, oh. He plays in the first 11 Bond movies. 11? Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, Money Penny. Oh, the only gold I know about is the kind you wear. You know, on the third finger of your left hand. Mm. Well, one of these days we really must an overdose of Bonbois. Colonel Smithers is giving <laughs> a lecture. Bond knows everything. <laughs> You're providing, of course, you have the facilities for melting it down. Is that thing worth 5,000 pounds? You draw it from yeah. Q branch. First proper Q scene. He has an office room. <laughs> yeah, Q branch. Morning, Q. Morning, Dalton. <laughs> he shot the guy. <laughs> well, here's the now, car. Please, naturally. <laughs> naturally. <laughs> I wish my car could do that. Genius, useful too. And clearly we'd appreciate its return, along with all your other equipment. So they want the car back. <laughs> some rather interesting modifications. <laughs> You see this arm here? You just see you're joking. 
I never joke about my work, 007. <laughs> so serious. Do you notice how different the dynamic is between Q and Bond from this movie? Now it's like, in the fir first two, he respected him more, and now it's like, no, he... he, he the it's director the told level. him, like, uh, he f destroys your equipment, so don't respect him. How'd you do? How do you do? Here he is. Our job. You must excuse our job, Mr. Bond. He's an admirable manservant, but mute. It's not a but mute. <laughs> Golf is not yet the national game of Korea, eh? <laughs> Today they will probably find that racist, but... I think so, yeah. Today everything is. You didn't come here to play golf. <laughs> Did you ever play golf? Uh, once. How did you do? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a good player either, I think. You I've have only to stand, done midget golf. <laughs> you have to stand like very weird. It's not natural. Oh, I remember this. They switch out the, the balls, right? Mm -hmm. That's his original ball, I'm Arnold Palmer. It isn't. How do you know? I'm standing on it. <laughs> Doesn't notice. No. Do you see how unnatural yeah. you have to stand? Yeah. You win, Goldfinger. <laughs> the wrong ball somewhere on the 18th fairway. We are playing strict rules, so I'm afraid you lose the hole and the match. <laughs> If he can uh, play unfairly, then Bond also. Yep. And he also did it with the cards in Miami. So oh, he yeah. just likes to win, like the girl said. This is so weird that Bond is standing there. I would ask him, what are you doing here? I said something about his head. And now he's not in the car, do you see? The car was empty. What, Goldfinger wasn't in the back? No. Really? Yeah. I have to look back again. I would never find found them with that small radar. We're from a different generation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Geneva. Look at the uh, flight attendants from that time. Yeah. That was the glamorous time for flight attendants, right? The sixties. <laughs> yes. This is another place uh, we should go to, the beautiful Switzerland. You're, you've been there? Friend of mine, no, I've only drove through it, I think, but not here. But a friend of mine lives there. He's actually one of the premium supporters. Oh. And he's visited all these locations. That's the girl, right? Do you remember what she was doing? Shooting? Uh, I remember a girl was shooting on him. Yeah. Oh, what a car. But she ends up in his car, but I don't know how anymore. You'll see now. <laughs> I always laugh at that one. Are you all right? Are you all right? Look at them. A 
whole blowout. I've never seen one of these before. How could new tires? A defect of some kind, most likely. They don't mention like the whole side. No, the whole side <laughs> the was whole like side is destroyed. A double blowout. <laughs> Yeah, she lied. Yeah, it's TM. Lovely sport. Lovely sport. Did you sell the logo of Volkswagen? Yeah, that hasn't changed. It's still the same. What are they doing? All That's the gold the pieces. They melted. Smuggling is an art. Activities. Now, Mr. Link, please assure your principles. Operation Grand Slam will have my undivided attention. Other so he's melting the gold into his car. Yeah, he dismantles it so he can bring it to other countries where it's more worth more yeah. to increase his. Uh, but he also mentioned Operation Grand Slam. That's the bigger plan to, yeah. to get richer. You, you, I'm sure you remember. A little bit of what that was. No? Maybe. Hmm. This is she, right? No, you don't. <laughs> well, you're a lousy shot. But somebody else around here isn't. But she... She wasn't shooting at Bond. She was aiming at Bond, but she missed like yeah. half a mile. <laughs> uh, she was aiming at Goldfinger, I mean. We can use old gadgets. Uh, the wind... The back... back. The, yeah, the smoke screen. I wish my car could do all this. <laughs> so you can use it on the highway here. <laughs> Especially the ejector seat, you know. So if we have an argument, just press the button. Choo! Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think because the guns, but I don't know, I don't know else why it will blow up. The guns? Or like, I don't know. Uh, you're reaching now. <laughs> There's no explanation. Well, maybe there is, but I, I never found out. They will catch him, right? Now you remember. Oh, yeah. This is so weird because... The statue, it was broken. Yeah. And now he throws it again and her head doesn't. Yeah. Like we had a discussion about this. And yeah. But for a movie like this, would, would you want to see her without a hat, like a puddle of blood? Well, then they had to do something with the statue because it doesn't add up. It, you're right. She doesn't even have a scratch. But no. For realism, she should have been decapitated. Yeah. yeah. Ah! Ah! <laughs> ah! Ah! But why doesn't he like to do the... Ejector seat? Ejector seat. Oh, but he does. Just picks the, r the right moment later. He can't really escape here now. So stupid, eh? <laughs> that guys. Yeah. If they sit Never. in the back, if they sit in the back, it shouldn't be a problem. Never put the guy in his in, in his own car. <laughs> run her over! Oh my God! I already <laughs> run her over. Biatch, don't. Uh, you would run over an old Yes. <laughs> yes, I would. She wants to kill me. I kill her. Was his own car or what? 
It's just a mirror. Yeah. It seems such an amateuristic mistake, right? Yeah, you said that the last time, right? I think you said it as well. Oh, uh, the scene. The iconic scene. <laughs> This is gold, Mr. Bond. The line is already there. Thank you, Major Point Goldfinger. Thank you for the demonstration. Already there. Choose your next witness. See, do you see? It's already you there. Yeah. It's already here. Yeah. No, Mr. Bond, I expect you to die. Well, he knows what I know. You know nothing, Mr. Bond. Operation Grand Slam, for instance. And he doesn't even know what it means yet. Yeah. You see, it's already at his pants. It's getting close. You may have overheard. You're about to take that chance. This is bluffing. He has to. You are quite right, Mr. Bond. Triangulizer. Mm -hmm. Where is he now? Who's she? Who are you? Uh, um, yeah. It's in the plane, right? Mm -hmm. Pussy galore. How can you forget pussy galore? Sorry. <laughs> I think that outfit would look good on you too. From Miley. Ah <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, to Operation Grand Slam. She's not reacting to it. This should be a memorable flight. You can turn off the charm. I'm immune. So she is a lesbian. In the book that was implied in the movie, they don't state it. My attache case. Black attache case damaged when examined. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> Do you understand why from from Russia with love that had the uh, yeah. tear gas yeah. damaged when examined? So that's a reference to the previous movie. You do this in your job as well, in the plates? No. <laughs> What's that? It's the homing device oh, for his shoe. Yeah. So they can see where he is. Perfect fit. <laughs> Love that suit. I still My dad had one like that. Yeah, you know a lot more about planes than guns. That's a Smith & Wesson 45. If you fight at this close range, the bullet will pass through me and the fuselage like a blowtorch through butter. So true. <laughs> I'm glad he's making progress. Yes, sir. Keep an eye on him for us. They have no clue that he's taken into custody, right? They have like, oh, he's obviously on top of the situation. I have no idea he's in danger. Oh yeah, you also said something about this. Anytime. Oh, that he has to help her. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, that's weird. Flight attendants always do that themselves. I guess he's, he's not exactly a flight attendant though. He's, he's more like a waitress. She, not you, in the movie. Just keep playing. My lie. Right, lie. Her name was My Lee, right? Yeah. Now she said My Lie. Yeah. yeah good point. You're a woman of many parts, Pussy. <laughs> I believe that the bourbon and branch waters are splendid here in Kentucky. Well, now that manners are job. I thought you always took your hat off to a lady. <laughs> I also said something about these girls, right? Maybe the pointy tits? And they're all blonde. They're all blonde, well, yeah. Well, Certainly better oh, bread than the owner. Oh, yes. 
He was in a jail, right? Something yeah. like that. <laughs> and now he's taking his head off. He's looking for him, eh? Because everyone thinks... But he still has the homing device in his shoe. So they know where he is. Yeah, but they think oh, everything is fine. Yeah. I don't remember this. No? What about that trick pool type? Maybe this was one of the parts you dosed off. <laughs> <laughs> Being cooped up like this. What's that map doing there? <laughs> they keep commentating. <laughs> What's that map doing there? What's with the pool table? This is my bank. The gold depository at Fort Knox, gentlemen. Fuck off, Fort Knox. <laughs> <laughs> Got a key or something? Of a kind. It's real, right, Fort Knox? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what is this, a merry-go-round? <laughs> just like me. <laughs> he wants to crawl on his head. <laughs> Easy. No. No memory? No, no memory. This must be the part where you slept. <laughs> Where is he? Oh. <laughs> Take the gun, lock the door, bye. What is he doing now? Trying to find out more of what Goldfinger is up to. My plan is foolproof, gentlemen. Call it Operation Grand Slam. I have devoted 15 years of my life to seeing complete unconsciousness for 24 hours. <laughs> of my personal pilot, Miss Pussy Galore, will spray, oh, into spray the atmosphere. This is his plan to steal all the gold. There's one thing you're forgetting. What? They're gonna break into Fort Knox, but not to steal the gold. It will be revealed later. Pussy galore. Pussy. Pussy. It's so weird, man. They're killing them. Yeah. So why explain the whole plan to them though? If you're gonna kill them anyway. <laughs> it's obviously just for us as the audience, so we know the big plan. But I like his plan, it's very clear. It's much less complex than the previous movie, right? It's easy to follow. Oh, well, you gotta go. My plane will get you to New York on time. With your excess luggage. <laughs> So he hopes he can get the piece of paper to Felix so he knows about the plan. He wrote yeah. it down, right? Operation Grand Slam. I did enjoy your briefing. <laughs> so did I. Uh, he knows my plan! <laughs> <laughs> They're still at the gas station? Yeah. <laughs> They were at the Kentucky Fried Chicken the whole time. He will kill him, right? Because he knows too much. Yeah. Are you blind or something? I don't remember this. Uh, I think this, this, these were the parts where you definitely weren't around <laughs> consciously. <laughs> 
He's he, he's still in the car. His body is. He's already dead. But you did notice this last time that there was no body in the car. Yeah, that's true. You did mention that last time, so you did see this. Because there is no blood. Yeah, but also you don't see anyone on the back seat. No. So you did see this last time. I, I, guess, I guess you were, because we weren't filming each other, you were just dozing off and coming back <laughs> every time. <laughs> Beautiful car, but that crushing me right now. <laughs> In real life, gangsters and mafia gangsters, they do dispose of bodies this way a lot with car crushes. There's a better way. Oh. Oh, you have experience with that, or uh, no? Some crazy ex-boyfriends <laughs> that you that aren't. No, <laughs> I watch crime, uh, crime documentaries. <laughs> That's all there's left of the car. Yeah, but the it's tiny so cube. weird because there's a body inside, but there's no blood yeah, or anything. Yeah, there should be blood and like organs maybe yeah. but again it's just like the decapitating of um, of Tilly I, I think that would be too graphic for what they had in mind in the 60s yeah drive to the farm it's all we can do right now they know there's something up so that plan failed Very rich you prospect. know what I don't see in this movie oh, what? a Bond girl no, she's not a bomb girl. Yes, she she is. is a bad girl. Then you forgot more than you think. Two men in a car. She's always with the bad guy. Tows. Yeah, but the movie isn't finished. I suggest you change it to something more suitable. Certainly. Business before pleasure. So she has to put on a bikini or something like that. No, but more sexy clothing. Now he's being guarded <laughs> to make sure he doesn't escape again. He wants you. You plan mm -hmm. to break into the world's largest bank, but not to steal anything. Why? To the factory? He's a specialist in nuclear fission. Oh, wait, I remember. Yep. To make it less uh, valuable. Yeah. Value and his Completely gold. Completely invaluable. Radioactive. Yeah. And his gold more value. Yeah. Our gold supply of the United States will be radioactive for 57 years. 58 to be exact. So it will be radioactive until 2022. 58 years later, I think. Yeah, so next year. Yeah. <laughs> it's a long time from 1964. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> well, how about it, Hanson? What kind of shoes is she wearing? I didn't see. What would it take for you to see things my way? A lot more than you've got. How do you know? His last she has was. gold nail you polish, is she? Yeah. <laughs> the thumb. Get up. When she... Ah. Yeah. Did you hear it? Yeah. <laughs> Did you hear it? Now let's both play. Let's both play. <laughs> this is this is like. I can't take his masculinity. Well, no, this is like he's like, molesting her. Pretty yes. Much. But it's the sixties, and now is she? He's, she's falling for his masculinity, and she's over man. Yeah, but no more lesbian. Yeah. <laughs> But the way he did it, it's like a little weird for this time. For that time, it, for, for that this time, time it, yeah. yeah, for that time, I, I think it's normal. But this time, I guess a, a, a woman just wanted to be won over. More. Yeah, but only with your man, husband, or boyfriend. I don't mind if you do that with me. Like, of course you don't. <laughs> I, I wouldn't mind if it's a stranger or something. And he's a stranger for her. Well, I see. Commence dive now. So now we're gonna spray the gas. Yes. Nowadays you can't 
just fly over things like that, right? It's not. It's not. Well, I can't imagine Fort Knox wouldn't be protected like this, especially after this movie. You can't just fly over like no. that, right? Probably not. But this is the real. Fly. This is the real Fort Knox. I, I think you even can't fly with your little plane above the White House. No. It's not no possible. Chance. No, no chance. Just like Fort Knox. What if you drop a bomb on it? Yeah. They were pay they were paid a beer or something to drop down uh, for the making of this movie. And they would say like and drop, and then everyone had to drop. Really? Like, yeah. You see? They were real soldiers. They just had uh, had to. Real soldiers. Yeah, they had to play in the movie to uh, to do this. Had to or? Uh, they did. They were asked if they wanted to, but guess they had time to do this. I mean, it's not that hard to do, just lay down. Uh, did they get paid for this? I think they, some beers. I think they all got <laughs> some beers. Yeah, I think something like that. From what I remember, I have to read back. Maybe someone in the comments can can say what it was. Uh, obviously, I can't research it I played it now. in James Bond yeah. <laughs> as an extra to play that. Yeah. <laughs> ah! 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 So the whole town is only U.S. Army. Oh, this it's is so not strange. a town. This is uh, these are the barracks surrounding uh, uh, Fort Knox. How is it possible that the vehicle is like on the side? Do you see? Yeah. Because they only Did sprayed. Did something happen there? They only sprayed it. Mm -hmm. Felix is there too. Yeah. So is Felix dead? No. What happened? Do you remember? No. I'm glad you, you forgot so much. Do you have memories of all of this? Only in Fort Knox. So. What's that? Bars of dynamite. That's a lot. This is too close. You would think, but it's only to blow the fence. Don't the military uh, has like contact with military in Washington or anywhere else? Well, they're all they're all taken out, so. Yeah, but they have to like. Report in. Yeah. Yeah, that's why they only have a small window to do this fast before they they have to report. And it's Sunday too. <laughs> so. Maybe there's different routines. I don't know. Yeah. I'm sure he didn't Maybe. pick Sunday for nothing. Mm -hmm. It's the laser, mm -hmm. Switzerland, they brought it here. It's quite ingenious for a movie though, I love, I love this stuff. That quickly, that's not possible because the laser was only uh, in the... It can project a spot on the moon, Goldfinger said. So I'm sure it's uh, powerful. <laughs> the bomb's here. Let's get moving, Brigadier. Right, Jack. Move in. Easy. Move in. Come on. So they were supposed to be killed by the Delta Nine, yet it didn't happen. You remember what happened? No. Okay. They had a, a three million dollar budget for this movie, so a lot okay. more. You can see a lot more production value for this mm -hmm. than. Got to know already. Yeah. It's like three times the budget. He just wants to escape. And then he <laughs> what a bastard. <laughs> he traps his own man in there just yeah, so the bomb can go out. Yet Ajab remains loyal. Oh my god, he has to be quick! <laughs> Wait a second, I remember this. Is 
Just like Red Grant, he's super powered, pretty much. How? It's a James Bond movie, of course. But the electricity will kill him, right? I remember that. And he really burned his ha hand here. Yeah, you the, said that. I but how is that possible? Because that ha is from uh, metal or what? Yeah, there's like a blade inside the band of the... Oh, uh, yeah. In 30 seconds. It's going faster and faster. There's the bomb disabler. There's an off switch. <laughs> There's an off switch. 007 seconds left. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, what made her call Washington? I must have appealed to her maternal instincts. So once again, Bond's penis saved the day. Save. But where is Goldfinger? He escaped. In the play. Don't shoot it! Out. <laughs> <laughs> the oxygen thingies has to come they out. They usually have time. to come out, yeah. yeah. How is he standing in the airplane? It's not possible. The pressure is too hard. It's so fake. This is the end, right? There's no time to be rescued. So Bond does get pussy. Bingo. You, but Spectre isn't in this one. You're right. No Spectre in this one. So we finished watching Goldfinger your second time. Um, before we go to the rating, as always, I would like to ask you, what are your overall thoughts? It was different for me because, um, yeah, I don't know. I think it's the timing. It was uh, like Christmas time and it was in the evening that we just watched it. The first time you mean? The first time and now we are like into it and it's um, uh, in order. Right, so I you see it in a different perspective. Yeah, yeah I did. Okay, I'm happy. Uh, so, you enjoyed My it? My rating is also different than the first time. I can't wait to see that. <laughs> so, um, do you think it helps that you see them in order? Now you actually see it I as the so. third film. Yes, I think so. Um, because um, you see them uh, like different in every movie. Mm -hmm. And now you see also like uh, the stories are different and in the 60s because every these three movies were in the 60s right right and you see also the production is different yeah you see it increase three movies yeah. yes so that's why I think it helps to watch them yeah. in order yeah I think so yeah I I agree it's I can I always recommend people to if you want the full experience of Bond movies just go in order and it yeah. helps you see them develop and I, I also think if I may say so uh, for the first time you watched it all of a sudden you jumped into yes, an old I movie now I didn't hear you mention one of the James Bond movies right and now I didn't hear you mention that it felt too old to you it actually yeah. felt more modern than the previous because I uh, I started it we started at the beginning, number one. Yeah. 
No, I'm happy to hear that. Uh, we're going to go back into the rating system and as always we're going to start with Bond's performance. Yes. Once again played by Sean Connery for the third yeah. time. Are you uh, ready? What did you give him? One star less than the other two. Four stars, so. Yes. Four stars. Okay. Yeah. We're very curious to hear why <laughs> Connery deserved five stars in the first two, but not in this one. Why yes. Why a star why? less? Um, yeah. In the first one, you sound like the first scene he ever played as James Bond. Right. It's so different. He owns the role. Yes, he owns the role the entire movie right. from Dr. No. And the second one, um, he's also like, I'm the man. Yeah. In that movie, you also see him like, in the first scene. Brilliant. Brilliant. And this one, um, now you see, I see it in a different perspective. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know, it's not like the two, the first two movies. I didn't get that feeling from the first two movies. And... Um, I think he's playing the part um, where he just like to have to. Okay, well I'll go back in the in the cell. James Bond as a character doesn't do as much. You mean? Yeah. Like he gets imprisoned and he does. He was sleep too with, easy he with the fighting. With, yeah, he sleeps with Pussy Galore to switch yeah. the gas, and he doesn't do that much. No, not that much as the first two movies. Right. He was there like the man you can't fight with him and in this movie it was like he was more too easy to yeah he, yeah he was more vulnerable maybe yeah. um, but does that say something about Connery or just just the way it was written for him but is Connery's performance uh, worse as well I think it's because of the what the writers written about him yeah so it's more on bond not mm. not necessarily Connery or no, not uh, at Connery at all, but uh, the performance from Bond himself, it was different than the first two. I, I agree. Uh, um, this is a common critique Bond gets in Goldfinger. He doesn't do that much. Yeah. Um, he does save the day, but he needs yeah. a lot of help from the, the girl we're going to go to now yes. in the second rating, the Bond girls. <laughs> Uh, obviously, Pussy Galore, mm -hmm. uh, but also two others appeared, uh, Jill and Tilly Masterson. What did you think of the Bond girls? <laughs> I gave them three stars. Fair enough. Everyone one star. Um, <laughs> one star for each. <laughs> um, the only one I thought it was a Bond girl, it was the second one. Tilly. The sister, yeah. who was shooting. Um, the rest. Not much. Um, they were both bad villains. <laughs> they were on <laughs> they his were side, on basically. They were on the side of the villain. Right. And only at the at the end, you see that... Um, She's converted. Pussy Galore. Yeah. Um, because he, she slept with him, she went on the good side. Mm -hmm. But so the, kind of, the whole you kind of movie, view she her was as at a the bad yeah. side. So... I don't like... You don't see her as a traditional uh, no, Bond girl? No, not okay. as uh, like from Russia with Love and with Dr. No when she was uh, stepping out of the water. That was But the one from, from Russia with Love was also on the side of the Russians for a large portion of the movie. Yeah, that's also true. But if you, if you take out... Um, okay, she's not the traditional Bond girl, she starts off in the camp of the villain. But what did you think of her before as a character? Like she's, she's uh, skilled, she can fly a plane, she, she does judo. Um, yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> yeah, so what did you think of her as a character then? Even if you don't feel her as a Bond girl. Mm, very good, she is talented. <laughs> I can't do that. No. But she's talented. Okay, so you did like her as a character? As a character, yes. How about the Bond villains of this movie? Yeah, I gave them four stars. Four stars. They're like real Bond, James Bond movie villains. I completely agree. Yeah. Goldfinger is classic. It's like, yeah, it's like the, I don't know, the fantasy thoughts of how Bond villains are played. Yeah. It's in this movie. Right, I, I agree. With the hat. 
with the whole army. Yeah, Ch that, Chinese in pajamas. Guy, what's his name? Um, uh, Goldfinger, his name all. Yeah, Goldfinger. It's very iconic. Yeah. Um, this I'm happy to hear this because I remember when we first watched Goldfinger, your first Bond movie, mm -hmm. and I asked you what do you think of Goldfinger, you were like. He can't even fight. He's not strong. He's super. You didn't like no. him at all. And now you're like, wow, he's a real James Bond villain. Now you see it. Yeah, because I saw the other two movies now. Yeah. It applies to our job for the yeah. hat and stuff. It's really weird. <laughs> it doesn't make much sense. It's but really weird to watch like someone. <laughs> someone like throwing a hat and a statue is like decapitated. Yeah. <laughs> but it's it's classic Bond. Yeah. It it is Bond in its prime. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna move on to the locations in Goldfinger. Yeah, I gave them four stars. Four stars yeah. again. What yeah. did, uh, tell tell us about it. It started in Miami. Yeah. Then um, they went to uh, Switzerland. Beautiful there. Yeah. Yeah, love that location. I don't know if. Everything is fake. I don't know if if it was a green screen or like. Oh, they really painted. went to Switzerland. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And um, Fort Knox. Yeah. Uh, obviously, Kentucky. Not the most exotic location. No, but. But you're right. Fort Knox is is very memorable as a yeah. film set. Yeah. yeah. Not many movies are like in Fort Knox or well. You don't like I I don't know how it is inside of. No one Knox. knows. No, this was just their interpretation of what mm -hmm. the filmmakers. Oh, and the, and uh, how, how do you call it on the farm? Yeah, like, in Kentucky. Yeah. Yeah. So four stars again. You enjoyed this uh, the locations. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna go over to Goldfinger's story. Uh, mm -hmm. What did you think of the story? Um. Yeah. It's not that hard as from a show with love. <laughs> no, it's no. a it's a lot less complex. Yeah. So, how, what did you give the rating? Four stars. Four stars again. That's yes. that's three in a row already. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Tell us about why what you enjoyed about the story. Well, I could keep up with the story. It's very easy to follow. I yeah. agree. Yeah, it's very simple. I didn't fall asleep. No, not at all this no. time. You, some some scenes I didn't remember. I was like. This must What's be the part it? where yeah. I dozed <laughs> I off in the first this time. One. Yeah. It was in a cell and it was like um, when it was oh, when they explained the plan, you didn't I think remember so, a lot of yes. that. And a little bit of Fort Knox. Yeah. yeah. Those were the parts I remember you dozed off to. Yeah. That brings us to our final category, uh, your overall enjoyment. Yes. Yeah. What did you give it? What's your rating? Four stars! Four stars again! Four in a row! Okay, uh, tell me why you enjoyed it that much this time. And, and a know. lot more than the first time yes. too. Yes, okay. Um, there was happening a lot. Um, you saw the golf course. Um, you saw the airplanes. You saw inside the airplane. Um, what else? I enjoyed it when <laughs> Goldfinger sucked out of the... Uh, <laughs> the window is not possible to for James Bond to walk in the uh, aircraft. <laughs> it was enjoyable to watch because it's it's not even possible to do that. <laughs> that you enjoy that though. Yes, yes, you saw me in throughout the movie. It's it's not possible. It's fake. It's fake. But you do enjoy it. Yes. I'm glad um, to hear. What else? Um, I think this movie just has you gripped from the start, from the moment Bond comes out of the water with the duck. Oh yeah, with the duck on his all head. All the way <laughs> until he's on the parachute. The whole movie, you're yeah. just entertained. There's never a boring moment, I think, in Goldfinger. No. With the laser also. Iconic moment. The DB5 as well. Oh yes. Not forget the DB5. Yeah. Amazing car. Yeah, yeah so 
is it your experience as well that there's just it just it seems like the movie flies by when you watch it. Mm -hmm. It's fast, it's never boring. Even the golf, which is a pretty slow scene, you're just so gripped to the screen and what's happening because it's it's just I think it just keeps being interesting. Yeah, because they uh, didn't play fair. Yeah, so you know that oh, there's something going on yeah. and the ball is being dropped. Oh, you switched the balls. Yes, I did. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's amazing. Yeah. I would do also. <laughs> That brings your score indeed to a much higher score than last time, which mm -hmm. when you gave it a six, that would be equal to three stars. Okay. Now, uh, going by your current rating, it will go to four stars, your highest rating One, yet. It's because I watched this uh, first too. Yeah, it helps to put things in perspective. Okay. So it's only getting better. So far, yes. Um, <laughs> who knows? We're going to be returning next time for another movie reaction, Bond movie number four. Okay. Fundable, uh, which is up next. Have you heard about that title yet? No. So, no. Uh, and the cool thing is, the next movie you saw was License to Kill, which means Bond movie four to Bond movie 15. All of those you haven't <laughs> seen. So a lot of movies oh. coming up. Is all going to be it's first time reacting first again. Time. Yes, because you saw most of the modern ones in the mm -hmm. 90s. So uh, we're going to be returning for the Fundable. Hope you enjoyed. Leave us a like, leave us a comment. Also, uh, click the little bell icon so you can be notified whenever we upload a new video or whenever I upload something, uh, other projects as well. And uh, we hope to see you in the next movie reaction and in my next video. Take care, Bye. guys.